Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, this video is the first shave of Movember. Anyways, um, or No Shave November, whichever you want to call it. So today I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to attempt to shave all this off and leave behind the goatee and mustache now. In a video I did a while back, I took off a 28 day long goatee, or goatee that I grew for 28 days with a Jim Micromac open comb. That video is called Beard Meets the Beast if you're a newer subscriber and you want to check that out and see how that went. Um, but yeah, my girlfriend loves my goatee and even in that video I said that my goatee used to not bug me, but now it does. We're going to see how long I can go with one. So we're going to attempt to go ahead and make this pretty decent looking goatee. Um, haven't shaved since Halloween day before we went up to my sister's in Lamar. Um, our son had an absolute blast. I hope your kids, if you have children, had fun as well. And I hope you all had a happy and safe Halloween, whether you have had, whether you have children or not. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to use. The razor is going to be my Timeless Bronze 0 0.78 Blade Gap Open Comb Double Edge Razor, which is an absolutely wonderful razor. Um, the brush is going to be my Maggert's uh, Synthetic with the maple leaf on the bottom. The soap will be my fine El Orange Noir in the um, Vanderhagen Apothecary Mug. Both the soap and the brush came from a um, very supportive subscriber. You know who you are. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get the face wet. Oh, and the beverage for Today is going to be Walmart coconut flavored fizzy water. Zero sugar, very few calories. It's actually good stuff. And you might hear my phone go off. My girlfriend and son are out of town, so I'm leaving my phone on. So just in case if she has to get in touch with me, um, she's visiting friends down in Los Angeles. So let's go ahead and let's get the face wet. And, or get the brush wet and get it loaded. Oh, the blade in there is, in the razor is a Wilkinson's Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon blade. Um, which, uh, as, as I have said in previous videos, it is one of my favorite favorite blades. So, anyways. Um, I'll probably end up dinging the cup a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and cut away here. And, you know, you know what, hang on, not dinging so bad, getting that proto, proto lather shaken off. Got a 70th subscriber and somebody ended up unsubscribing. I don't know who unsubscribed. I haven't had a chat, chance to check. But the 70th, 70th subscriber is Trevor from Tribby V. Anyways, welcome Trevor. Um, I, hope you, I hope you enjoy the channel. That looks like a pretty decent load. Anyways, got the face wet. Scoop some of this excess here out of the mug. So, anyways, how are y'all doing? Hope y'all doing well. Gotta rinse my hand off real quick. Anyways, um. On the TV, I didn't turn the. I forgot to turn the TV off before I jumped in the shower, so I got out. And um, on the TV was that Pitbull Rescue or Pitbulls and Paroles. That's it. With that Kia, 
whatever her last name is, in her operation there in Louisiana. And um, she received a letter from a soldier who had been reaching out to a lot of people. Well, he's a veteran now, but um, the guy was asking for her help if she could do anything to help him because he had just gotten a job in, out here in California. Um, one moment. But just got a job out here in California. And um, he's got a couple of dogs out there in Louisiana. And, um, or wherever it is, I forget exactly where he said he was, his dogs were. But a shelter that agreed to take care of the dogs for a couple of days. And that was it. Now all they could do is take care of the dogs for a couple of days. And, um, because he had a friend who was taking care of the dogs for him while he was deployed and everything while he was in the military. Uh, get some heat in this plate. And the friend has some medical issues and can no longer take care of the two dogs. One is a pit bull mix. I forget what, exactly what the other dog is. They're both mixes. Razor's cutting very nice with the grain. Um, but the guy ended up serving nine years in Afghanistan. Um, that's just, that's nuts. I mean, I understand a soldier's job is to serve, but my God, nine years. And, uh, You know, it's, it's just nuts. And I mean, my dad, he was Navy. I had a stepdad who was a U.S. Airborne Ranger. Served in Vietnam. My dad, he was Navy during Vietnam. And, um... So I get the whole duty to serve duty and service and all that. I got it. I get it. I understand. One of my best friends, he has served in both Kuwait and Afghanistan, I mean, in Iraq and Afghanistan. No, not Iraq. He's just served in Afghanistan, so. I understand the whole thing. You might notice got a little bit of shaking going on. It's not Parkinson's. It's just I've had it for years. I spoke to a neurologist years ago about it. I might speak. I'm probably going to have to speak to my doctor again. Anyways, that was a great first pass. Oh, great. Oops. <laughs> I totally boned that off. Took off the mustache and got... Oops. Got talking and didn't even think. Honey, if you see this video, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to have to let this grow back in. Anyways, but I'll go ahead and change up the shave. Maybe subconsciously I didn't want to go tea. Who knows? Maybe, maybe. But, yeah, nine years serving in a war, that's... 
Hats off to hats off hat. My hat is off to our servicemen and women who serve in war zones. Um, it just it's just incredible what they what they are willing to do for their country their brothers and sisters at arms in arms it's just amazing but so the result is Kia of Pitbulls and Parolees and her people are going to help the man, the gentleman out um, by getting the dogs and because they're older dogs so maybe that has something to do with it but they're going to drive the dogs to him so good for them um, I'm glad to hear that he's doing that or they're doing that for the man so cross the green which right here is actually against the grain now it's going across the grain Watched this morning, watched Kevy par their own Kevy shades, watched him do a video, the Oops, nicked myself. Not the razor's fault, mine. I don't know if it's gonna bleed. Or if I just caught the skin. But he put the carb, which he's borrowed from a friend. Up against his beloved Rockwell 6S, which is a really good razor. It's one of my favorites, too. I'm not quite sure if this time was beat it yet or not. This time was just smooth. I will give it that. I know one of my viewers doing so drain. He has this exact same timeless. He was telling me in a comment. On a video where I used it. But he said that he's got this same timeless, one moment, and um, he got the carb, and uh, the carb is his favorite razor in his entire den, so, um, you know, it's beat out the timeless, so. Just dribbled my fizzy water, but um, so yeah, gonna have to get a carve eventually. Um, now Kevy was mentioning that he's heard that they're gonna do the carve in stainless, so yeah. You're gonna have to keep an eye on that. You're really gonna have to. Um, 
But then again, I ain't got no brass razors. Or at least none that's not meant to be played it, so to speak. Just do a paint over. Now I got plenty of razors made of brass. I mean, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen all the vintage Gillettes I got. So, you know, it's, it's, what? The 3rd of October, 3rd of November, against the green. 3rd of November, and here I am talking to you guys on this video here while I live in sunny old California, wearing a tank top and a pair of shorts um, in November. I mean, my goodness. Um, you know, and some of you may not believe in the whole climate change. One moment, guys. That was my brother. Um, we go in halves every month on the WWE Network. And, um, yeah, we're cheap. <laughs> but we go in halves on the WWE Network. And, um, doing the cheeks against screen. And, uh, he's coming over today. We're gonna watch that. Um, Crown Jewel from Saudi Arabia. And, um... He's going to bring over, he's got a bottle of Jim Bean honey bourbon. And I got a couple of quarts of beer in the fridge, Miller. Um, but Jim Bean is my favorite whiskey. So, um, I like scotch. And I like Johnny Walker. Well, believe it or not, Costco actually makes a really, really good scotch. Um... But, uh, I believe it's single malt, but, uh, it's really good stuff. Try it if you're into scotch. And if you have a Costco card, or know somebody with one, go with them one of these times and pay them back when they pick it up for you. But anyhow, um, He's bringing over his Jim Bean honey bourbon. And, um, so we're going to try that. Or I'm going to try it for the first time, so. But I'll be good. I like Jim Bean. But, uh, yeah, but the temperature, I mean, I mean, when I was a kid, this time of year, we were running around in jackets. Every couple of years where I grew up, dealing with snow. If you're like me, and you think that scientists might be onto something there, Or if you uh, don't, then, you know, no matter what side of the argument you're on, I know, I know, back in the 70s, science said that we were supposed to slip into an ice age. That's what, the, at any time, that's what argument has been used against me when I say I'm a believer in climate change. And, you know, I was a kid. I don't know the ins and outs. I gotta look it up. I ought to really look it up. That way so I can be up on that stuff. But, um, whether you believe in climate change or not, do a little bit of, you know? I have to admit, climate is changing somewhat. Or at the very least, it's going through some weird cycle.
because as a kid, like I said, I don't remember. I don't remember ever running around in shorts. It first half of November. And if I did, it wasn't so often where it imprinted on my memory. Anyways, so that's the shave. I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, really nice too. All close. Let's see. Did I miss anything real quick? Good around the mouth. Good on the chin. Oh, got a little bit right there. So, no matter what side of the, like I said, no matter what side you're on, you know, you got to admit, it's, it's definitely getting warmer. At least in these parts of the country. Now, I'm not sure what the temperature is like down in the southern states. I haven't checked the temperatures lately down there. I haven't looked at them because, one, I don't live there. And, you know, I do occasionally. Um, luckily, Halloween night wasn't too bad. Started out wearing a flannel with a, like a liner. And halfway through the halfway through the trick or treating with the kids, my son and my nephews and my niece, off came the flannel. Cause that's getting worn. Anyway, so yeah, that's the shape. I'm gonna go ahead, cut away here, rinse off, and um. I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. You know what, guys? I went ahead and I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll hit my face with the alum. I thought this was an Omega. Turns out it's actually an Old Spice. Hang on, guys. An Old Spice alum stick. Uh, not too bad. No. Mm, okay. Little places it's kicking up. Not a lot. Just, just little places. That's probably way too much of them. <laughs> but oh well. Everybody's shave is different. But yeah, it's an old spice alum stick. And I really like it. Anyways, I had to set my phone aside, that way I don't get wet, get it wet. Anyways, yeah, so I'll see you all back here for the post. Alright, see you in a minute. Ah. That's good stuff. Anyhow, back to the shave. Welcome back to... Another thrilling episode of So You Want to... Oops, wait, sorry guys, wrong video. <laughs> but anyways, no, seriously. Um, You know, let's do the post. Yeah, as you can see, the shave, my face is... Don't have any spots with anything left behind. Pretty much BBS. My head... The same, a little bit of a tingle on my noggin. None on my face at all. Any irritation the timeless did give me, because if you were to compare this timeless blade gap to say a Rockwell success, they're I think pretty much even. Uh, Kevy was talking about the blade gap between the um, carve and the 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 six S on setting six. Actually, no, this the the timeless is a little more aggressive than the six S on setting six. Um, I believe that it's a point one one um, higher. On the carve, then the timeless, the 
time was is a 0 0.79 or 78 and I believe Kevy said that the carve was a 0 0.79 so yeah it's just a point higher on the aggression scale when you're looking at it in, in millimeters but yeah so anyways the timeless did an absolutely beautiful job um, wonderful wonderful shaver um, highly recommend it um, if you want something a little bit more mild then 0.79 or 78 blade gap go with the closed comb it's a 0.68 um, but it's just a good quality razor. It's something you can pass down to your kids and then they can pass it on to their kids. The um, brush, the Maggot Synthetic, can't go wrong with one. Um, some people aren't the biggest fans of their knots, but I don't mind it. I like it. Um, I believe Rudd Shaves. Old reds. He's he's not as big a fan of the of the knot as others, but that's his opinion. My opinion is it's a good knot. Uh, really like it. The soap. I mean, you can't go wrong with fine soap. Triple milled. Uh, makes a wonderful creamy thick lather. You can't go wrong with it for the cost. It's a uh, in the El Orange Noir is just a beautiful scent. It's got great residual slickness. Cushion glide, creamy, creamy, everything. I mean, it's great. It's an absolutely beautiful and wonderful soap to use. And the Wilkinson Sword, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades. They're absolutely great blades. One of my favorites. Um, the aftershave today is going to be um, Skin Bracer by Minim. Um, the Witch Hazel was Dickinson's. And the aftershave balm mm. this is Nibia for sensitive skin original, I believe. Um. Yeah, here we go. And that, folks, is the shave. Once again, welcome to Trevor to the, to the channel. Hope you enjoy yourself, your time here, buddy. Um, and to all, everyone else, all of you, by the way, thank you for the wonderful comments you had, or that you gave me. Um, in the last video, uh, went in, what, Thursday, got what's called trigger point injections here in my shoulder, so that's starting to do better. Um, the knot, the lump underneath my mus in the muscle area is not as noticeable now, so... I think that's give it a few more days and it should straighten it out. So, you know, um, thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a good one and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the way. Bye bye now.